Hey everybody, welcome to Speech Bubble. I'm Butch Hartman. I love Zootopia. I got Maurice LaMarche over here who plays. You better watch the show or else I'm going to have to ice you a cake. Oh, the theme music. Zootopia. Well, Maurice, it's been awesome having well, you. I, nice you. I have one more voice. We what, one more, yeah, I do it. I do love it. Uh, Mr. Big in Zootopia. We can talk about that. Mr. Big is the only voice that I do that I can't actually perform it live because <laughs> they gave an 18% uh, squeeze on it. Mm -hmm. They didn't speed up the performance, but because he's so tiny, they felt he needed to have a higher voice. So I do, you know, ma, you know. You gave my mother a skunk butt run. Yeah, yeah. Grandmama, grandmama, sorry, grandmama. grandmama. Grandmama, you gave her a skunk butt rug, which we buried her in. Ice. Ice him. That character started out actually without any jokes. He was just, just mean because oh. an Arctic shrew, which mm. is the creature he is. Is the meanest, literally the meanest mammal in, in creation. Mm -hmm. If you take five Arctic shrews. I know a couple of people I worked with that yeah. were probably meaner. Right, could, could yeah, be. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. And you take five Arctic shrews and leave them in a cage overnight mm -hmm. and come back in the morning. Only one will be alive. Ooh. And that was Mr. Awesome. Big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's an Arctic shrew. And little by little, uh, Rich Moore kept, you know, uh, funnying him I went, up, I went to school with Rich Moore. Yeah. I know him. So, yeah. So he, they, kept, they kept giving him, you know, jokes. And so by the end, he became a somewhat lovable character. Yeah, uh, but at the, uh, he was really just all menace when we first started. So at the doing it. so you did one session all mean, and then came back. He came back times and he just kept getting. Okay, I think we did five sessions. We wow. just kept, you know. He's only got like, you've got that kind of time and money that they yeah. have at oh, Disney. Yeah. To do he's that. only got like what five lines or two lines. And, he's, he's he's in two scenes. Yeah, he's in two scenes. I love Zootopia. By yeah, the the whole thing with the daughter coming in that was added <laughs> later. <laughs> okay, you know, to it show plays it. a big part. In the it's movie. huge. Yeah, so you know, it was it you know it was it just kept. But they have that luxury of just constantly mm -hmm. massaging it and adding jokes and yeah, changing things. Yeah. I mean, to the point that Rich will tell uh, said this on on, on film, uh, I, not film. Nobody films anything anymore. <laughs> film is gone. A tape, but he's a been a he's been recorded. Device, yes. He's been interviewed mm -hmm. saying that the film was originally Nick's story, and they had the time oh, and yeah. the luxury and uh -huh. the money to realize they needed to have it be her Judy's, story, Judy's yeah, Judy Hopps' right. story. Yeah. So you know things. You know th th that's. It's that's a great just, movie. It's yeah. a great movie. And the great Maurice LaMarche, which means Maurice the Walk. Mm -hmm. The Walk. Not the marsh. Yes. Like you're born in a marsh. Not, no, no. La Marche means the walk. It originally meant uh, uh, the walker, like, because because you were a foot soldier. My my, my original ancestor well, that came to uh, Canada mm -hmm. in like the 1600s was a man named Joseph Brico de la Marche. Which means wow. Joseph Rico of the March. That's the yeah. French. That's of the Frenchiest French. thing yeah. I've he heard. A he's a foot soldier, and he's the one who spawned all all the La Marches mm -hmm. in Canada. Awesome. One Look more that. Disney thing. Aren't you Tapper in Wreck-It Ralph? I am Tapper yeah. in Wreck-It so Ralph. Are you and in Ralph Breaks the I am in Ralph Breaks the awesome. It's cool. a little okay. small scene. Yeah, cool. Not, not huge, but uh, but I'm there. He's okay, everything. There yes. we go. Thank Except in Fairly Odd Parents. So the one thing you weren't the in. The one thing I wasn't in. <laughs> Why wasn't so I in? So when, when the feature film comes along, you'll have an Orson Welles. Fairy. Super fairy. Yeah. I'm going to have a, the, a Jerry Seinfeld meets Orson Welles. There you That's go. That's what I'm going to yeah, have. Meets, meets, meets Marlon Brando. We'll work together somehow, but there meanwhile, you. this has been tremendous this fun. Been, dude, awesome. Thank, so thank you. Thank you, Jace, for having me. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. much.